Let's solve this dihybrid Punnett square problem together. An incompletely dominant gene controls the color of chickens so that big B, big B produces black. Big B, little B produces a slate gray color called blue and little B, little B produces a splashed white color. A second gene controls comb shape with the dominant gene R producing a rose comb. Therefore, big R, big R, or big R, little r genotype can produce the rose comb, while only little r, little r, it says, produces a single comb. In the parent generation, a pure breeding black chicken with a rose comb is mated to a splashed white chicken with a single comb. Let's write down the genotypes of these parents. If it's a pure breeding black chicken, it has to be big B, big B, big R, big R. That is what a pure breeder's genotype looks like. And if it's mating with a splashed white chicken, it has to be little B, little B, with little R, little R. Remember, pure breeder. Now I'm going to show you a crossover trick that you can use to determine what will be the gametes that we put in this first Punnett square. We take the first B with the first R. We take the first B with the second R. Then we do the same with the other parent. First B with the first R. First B with the second R. So we notice that those are the genotypes as sorted into the gametes of both parents. Now let's do the others. We're going to do the second B with the first R the second B with the second R to determine those gametes. And there we see the same thing illustrated. We're going to have, though, a little B, little R gamete from that parent. What we do next is easy. It's like you're playing battleship. We're combining the option from the top and the side together, and we write down the genotype in the box. We keep the B's together, we keep the R's together, and we put the capital or uppercase letter first, followed by the lowercase. If you combine that for this first row, you'll notice they're all the same. And if you continue down, you'll see that even in the second row, they're all going to be the same, as well as the third and the fourth row. To save us a bit of time, we can just write down same and draw an arrow across to show that the F1 offspring are all the same. Now, subsequently, a female and a male chicken from the F1 generation mate. What would those genotypes look like? It'll be the ones that are in the box, the F1 offspring box. So we're going to take a big B, little b, big R, little r, and cross that with a big B, little b, big R, little r. We use the same crossover trick I explained and then that'll help determine what are the genotypes that we write across the top and the side of the box. So for this one it's going to be big R and a little uh, sorry a big B and a big R together a big B and a little R together in the second option and then we take the second B with a big R and we take the second B with a little r. Let's do it for the other cross as well. This happens to be the same. It depends on the problem. Sometimes it's not the same. And these will be then our genotypes that we write at the top and on the side of the box. Now we combine them again in each of these Punnett square boxes. And we'll notice that now the genotypes are not all the same. Oh, let me just fix that one up there. I made a mistake over there. When I wrote it down, that has to be big with a little r. That also helps to double check. Okay, there we go. Back to that one. So that one's a big r, little r.
Let's complete the second row together. It's like we're playing Battleship, right? We're combining the top and the side options together. And then the third row. And the fourth row. Now let's go back to the question. What was the question that was asked of us? What fraction of the F2 offspring will be black with a rose comb? So we are looking for black, big B, big B. Let's underline all the big B, big Bs. There's four of them. Nothing else is a big B, big B. And then we're also looking for the other trait, the rose comb, which can be big R, big R, or big R, little r. So let's underline all of those. We'll see there's three options. It has to be a big B, big B, right? So we cannot count this third option. Therefore, our answer is going to include this one here, this one here, and this one here, the three that were starred. Three out of 16 chickens will be black with rose comb.